another episode of Panados Reviews. That's the show where we review stuff together. We are doing a soda review of three different kind of um, e-liquids from the same um, company, but they're all sodas, different kind of sodas. And they're three different lines. They're Not our favorites. All from the same manufacturer. Yeah, it's all from Puff Labs. Thank you, Puff Labs, for making this possible. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, we're not really soda vapors. <laughs> Most of the time they have cola in it. So I'm not sure about these ones. But I have a... I'm, I got, like, what's that called? Um, I'm pretty positive about this because Puff Labs makes really good e-liquid. And this is just These like are the last three that we haven't really... We haven't well, messed I, with, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's just like this really interesting common theme that they all have is they all have some kind of drink component to them. Yeah. And we're going to go from like least soda-ish, it yeah. still has a soda in it, to like just a straight up soda. And a lot of people on my subscribe base um, recommended this one to me, actually. And it is the Rotten Candy by Strange Fruits. And this is, let me tell them what it this is. This is a gummy candy soaked in grape soda. So this does have a soda component to it, but it's what it sounds like is more like a, a gummy candy with Strange grape Strange fruit is known to be very um, mixtures of flavors that are crazy. They're just crazy e-liquids like Fruity Pebbles fried ice cream, We've, we've cream, enjoyed all milkshake. of these so We far. haven't reviewed the lime one yet But I've vaped together. it and I like it. He loves lime, so. What art do you I love this? Strange Fruits art. They're known for their um their marketing is amazing. I love their marketing. Which one do you want to use? Um, I it doesn't. Well, they look pretty intense. They're all intense. <laughs> you should see these um coils that he's showing me. So they're gonna. Oh, geez, these big aliens. These are. Uh, we got we got two regular coils and then we got a mesh coil. Yep. <laughs> But mesh vapes, I mean the flavor of it is... And these are probably his... What are these, your normal vape Or no? You just picked them out of the closet. Uh, these are ones that I normally use. I just clean them out and put new cotton in them. They're very crazy. This is uh, Aliens in, in parallel with 22 one. gauge. Like, show them. <laughs> I can't. You have to show them. We'll, we'll, like, we'll have to do it up do close a, shot. Yeah, I'll do it up close to that. It yep. is crazy. So but how many wraps is that? Ten? Uh, no, Each? It's, it's like Seven? one, two, three, four, five. It's just in parallel, so there's ten. Oh, yeah. There's ten time. wraps, but crazy. It's good. <laughs> it smells. I think that's it what I need. I think like I soda. need a. Um, I've been actually been not happy with anything on vaping. I think maybe I need a hotter vape. Definitely maybe my vapes vape. aren't hot enough, and they're just being very too. Eh. She goes through these phases where she likes really low ohm rowdy builds. And then she'll like go, oh, it's too rowdy, it's too hot. And then she'll like, well, hire her own builds. She's, I get she's all over the place. It smells really good. It smells very grapey. It is really grapey, but in a good way. I usually, grape is one of those things in vaping that it can be hard to get to pull off, but this is actually really, isn't really good. Isn't this the second grape that we tried from their lines? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. No. There was another grape we tried, and it was really good. I forget who it was from, though. Anything they do, like, grape candy kind of flavors, it's a lot better than, than just, like, straight-up grapefruit. This is good. It's kind of powdery almost. Well, it's good because it, you can actually taste the um gum, like, the candy, mm -hmm. and then the grape is on the end, yep. and it's actually really delicious. It's really good. If you it's like candy flavors, you're really going to like this one, I think. Cause it's like straight up, like she said, it's gummy, and then at the end, actually, it's, it's totally grape soda. I can vape that. Like I, that's probably what I would like to vape. Something different. It's it's giving me a little bit of a throw hit, but not like crazy. And that's what I've been wanting. Something to hit my throat a little bit. And can't I didn't even think about it. Candies usually do that because they're a little sour. This has, it's, it's very sweet, but it's not like, it's very clear, so it's not going to mess but up like your coils or anything. But like the grape gives you that little bit of sourness, mm -hmm. so it's really, none of their, none of their um, e-liquids mess up your coils. Like, I don't know how they do it, but. As sweet as their flavors are, it's amazing that they're not, like, these really dark. It takes about a week and a half, two weeks 
to start affecting your coil, your cotton. I've never had them affect my coils though at all. Yeah, it's really amazing. And I've able to do. used the same coils forever without cleaning them, but my cotton would get messed up. Maybe going three weeks into using the same cotton, then it gets dark. But it that's takes really saying a something. While and all their e-liquids are got a sweet note to them, but they're like. They do, I don't know how they do it. It's like magic. I always say it's magic. I get so you know the weirdest thing is from this, is that I get it's almost like a Smarties kind of texture. It's a little bit like a like a hard powder candy kind of thing, but I think it's also kind of like supposed to be like um, carbonation almost. It almost comes across like carbonation. It's, it's like really good. it's like yeah. it's like the foam off of a great soda. That's what they were trying to do without putting a coal in it, which is amazing, awesome because that would have ruined it for me. I think they, um, that exactly what you said, they, they were trying to make the carbonation without making that, putting without coolant. Without adding any kind of weird stuff in Yeah, it. and it would have totally ruined it. I, I it, wouldn't have liked it. It tastes like the, like, like, like they say, like you take some gummies and you like pour a grape soda on it and it's like all mm -hmm. foamy. That's what it tastes like to me. Like a little foamy, Maybe very like, grapey. Maybe um, like powdered, I mean powdered, um, worms. Like oh, like the sour worms? Sour yeah. worms. I I don't, it doesn't show you exactly on the bottle, um, but... There's a little bit of a sourness to it. It just shows up as a random candy. Yeah. But, I mean, you definitely get a gummy, a nice gumminess to it. It shows you a little fat it. kid with candy. <laughs> it's a really good example. Like, like, you do kind of feel like you're just munching on candy when you're candy this. Candy and drinking some soda afterwards. Yep. This will definitely feels like it's going to rot your teeth. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to break that. That's it really is really good. good. I, I can't get enough of it. It's actually really good. It's yeah, it's really, it's actually really like I've, I've never been disappointed by any of their e-liquids, and it's it's crazy because they sent so many, they sent every single one of theirs except their like their line, but um, oh, I don't know what how they have like, like they have like a line. custom have, like, thing a house going line. on, yeah. but I've no I. Beat everything, even the, the lime. I don't like lime, but it was it's still good. Yeah, I just spoiled, don't like lime. Spoiled milk is a really good flavor. It's a it's a key yeah, lime milk. Which shake. a That's lot good. of people told me to try that one too. I just I'm not a lime person, so that kind of turned me off from it. But I haven't been disappointed yet from them. What they say their e liquids are is what their e liquids are. Like it's so crazy. And they're able to accomplish these really. Dense really flavors crazy. and these really sweet flavors, and they pull them off. They're not too complicated. They're not like too messy, and they're not um, over sweetened. So it's just amazing what they're able to do. They're really good for tanks. They're yep. tank friendly. All their e liquids, I've been vaping, and I have not seen one that I would wouldn't recommend for a tank. Um, they're all. I've been very super happy with good. the strange fruit line. I think that this is. Some of the best stuff that we've seen. And this the so circus far. line. Yeah, both of them. The circus line's a little bit more of a dark kind of e-liquid, but we'll get there. They, they're all, I think they're... They're all They're really all good. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is another one that's spot on. With the, it tastes exactly what it is. It tastes like um, like candy with grape soda. It totally tastes like you're eating candy and drinking grape soda. Yeah. They nail that experience 100%. Like a kid, <laughs> your child, but there's candy in one hand and there's soda in the other, or just eating up and drinking up. It definitely tastes like that. Absolutely. Okay, so we'll move on to the next one. Yeah, 24 on the broad side. Okay, we're going to try. Um, next is Coast, the Coast line, and it's called Re Rain? Rain. Rain, and it's a Berry Blast sports drink. And we don't know if that's like supposed to be like a soda or like a Gatorade kind of flavor. We're not 100% sure what that means. But it's means. in the it's drink, drink area, so that's why we're going from most so from least soda to the most soda. This I think that we're gonna save that yeah. mesh for the last one. Okay. Because that's gonna be the the last one is actually the most I'm scary you, one. Like all their all their um like, all three of these lines are delicious. You have to give them a try if you haven't yet the coast, the coast is cream. really good licks is a strawberry a sweet and fluffy strawberry gelato really good uh, the caramel covered crispy treat good. dough delicious so we'll see what the brain is like i get a little bit of um cinnamon in the dough though and i don't get any no not cinnamon butterscotch yeah and i don't get i don't get any crispy treats yeah, well what does um rice krispies taste like 
<laughs> Honestly, yeah. it's not like a um, fruity pebbles or anything. It's a rice crisp. It's a crispy treat, so it's going to taste like whatever you put on top of it. Yeah. Especially with something like caramel. It's it's just a, such an overpowering flavor. And you you get a little bit of a butterscotch, and you actually, if you read a few of the um, descriptions on it, it does say butterscotch in it. They just don't. They, it probably would have been too big of a name, a description, or for their thing. Not, you know, not, but people don't always tell you every flavor. Because I think it wasn't like supposed to be like a strong note, but um, I think you caught caught on to it first, yeah, and then as soon as he it. put it in my head, I I tasted it. So the first the first <laughs> one we used uh, we used the Pulse Twenty Four um, on the Dreamer, and now we're using the Nudge uh, Twenty Four. That thing in so long. Just one of the ones we had laying around, so I grabbed it up. It why is it look, it why very, look like that? I just don't want to mess with that. Oh. <laughs> I see, definitely like a, something like a. Oh, yeah. What's it called? It actually measures. Yeah. It's horrible. It's like dude <laughs> brown. We really need to clean all of our make mods. This is a really hard oh. one to pinpoint. It, it definitely almost. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell good at all, no. It's definitely not my favorite flavor from the coastline. I'm just not into sodas, and this is, it definitely tastes like a sports drink, though. Yeah, yeah. But it's almost like there's carbonation, too. It's hard to pinpoint, because it does taste like, it's all over the place. It tastes like a sports drink, and I'm happy that they're not, they're not, um, putting cool in, or, or menthol in any of these, in any of the sodas. Yeah. No, definitely. But it does. No coolant so far. I did Thank get God. that sports drink taste. Like, I can't think of, I don't drink sports drinks. That like Gatorade flavor? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, or power, Powerade. Powerade yeah. It definitely gives you that um, flavoring yeah. of, like, a sports drink. But there's also, to me... It's not bad, though. It's not bad. It doesn't smell so good, but it, it doesn't taste It's bad. not my favorite, but mm -mm. Um, it, it nails, it's got a really strong berry flavor to it. Like a mixed yeah. berry kind of flavor. And, I don't know, I don't like it. No, I'm not like it. It kind of is giving me a licorice kind of taste a little bit. I don't get that, but... I get that in a lot of, like, if a berry's a certain way, I get licorice flavor. I don't See, know. I'm also getting, I'm also getting like, a little bit of a carbonation flavor, which I'm not sure if they're going for, but like, maybe it's just in my mind, but I'm definitely getting something like that. It definitely is supposed to be, like, a Gatorade kind of flavor, though. Yeah, like it definitely tastes like that, too. Yeah. It's definitely not one that I would buy on my own. No, I mean... And um, it's very clear, so it's going to be another one that's going to be, be safe. It in one of, of the giveaway boxes. Yes, definitely. <laughs> this is going straight in the giveaway box. Um, but it's, I know there's a lot of people that likes. I mean, it's, it's worth trying. If you like drink kind of flavors, this does nail that Gatorade you, kind of vibe. If you vibes. are a person that likes Gatorades and Powerades, maybe you work out and you like both it up, you want to vape something... Powerade-ish. It would go. It would go good with a Powerade after working out. Yeah, it would. I don't like the mixed berry flavor. If they use something other than mixed berry, I think I would like it a lot more. Like if they use anything else, orange, strawberry, anything. Well, else. it's a berry blast. Yeah, I'm not so, crazy yeah. about it. I wouldn't even be. Um, I wouldn't go to a berry Gatorade either. No, me like, neither. I'm more of a cherry or pomerade. Pomerate, how you say Pomegranate. It? Pomegranate. Now we're yeah, talking triple. Now we're talking triple X. We're talking uh, vitamin water. Yeah. That would be a good flavor. I love vitamin water. Actually, all right. So, what do you what do you rate that? I mean, I'd give it. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably give it like a two out of five. I really don't yeah. like it very much. It's not, it's not a fun. winner not for good. me. The first one, I forgot to say, it was winner. I like it. I'm actually probably going to vape it after the, the first one. I, the first one, I'd give a four out of five. I think it's really good. It's way above yeah. average for what you would expect from a grape soda and With a candy. candy. I think it's They know how phenomenal. to put like two different weird things yeah. together and make it work. And so nail an experience. Like Strange Fruit is a very good line. I have not found not one out of the Strange Fruit line that is nasty. And it's just like the experience, like when you're vaping this, you do, like she said, it's like you have candy in one hand and a grape soda in the other. Mm -hmm. It really f nails that experience, which is, that's awesome. To me. They're like spot on with what they say yep. their descriptions are, is exactly what you're going to get. So yep, I like that about a company. I hate when you 
order, you look at a description, you order it because of this description, you get it and it doesn't taste like anything like, like, like it. Or you get too much of one thing mm -hmm. and then you're like, well, I wanted that thing, <laughs> that part of it, like, and you don't get it. So it, they, they're definitely good with their, you're getting what you're, they say you're getting. Yeah, they do not hide what they are. So Especially, if you read something about strange fruit and you think it's good, you're going to like it. If you, if you read it and you think that doesn't sound for me, then it's not going to be for you. Especially, it is what even it is. with the circus line, I was pleased with all their, um, the whole line of the circus. It's, well, I haven't tried this one yet, but the the rest of them I was very happy with. I loved them all. So I know their prices are a little higher, but they're worth it. They're definitely it's worth it. It's a premium e-liquid. Yeah, and you're definitely... You're not going to mess up by reading it and then not getting what you thought you were in. You're yep. definitely getting what you read. Yep. Which I like, especially spending the money that they cost at like 25 bucks, I think, or 27 bucks. Yeah, but if you're getting... But they're premium e-liquids. They it's don't dunk up bottle. your coils, and they taste delicious. And it's a 100ml so. bottle. You're getting a lot of liquid for, for your money. Yeah. Okay, so next we're going to move on, and we're going to do the Circus Cooler. I'm scared about this one. <laughs> something, about, something about the name Cooler just scares me. <laughs> yeah, this is a scary one. But hopefully they're followed with the rest of the thing and they won't add any coolant in this one either. So uh, this one is from the Circus, uh, was it called? The Circus. Circus. Circus line. And it's Circus Cooler. And this is a, a exotic summer soda with a bubbly pop. And on their good. site, everything is, all three of these lines are easy to find they're all in their own categories so you can find them easily and this one has a much darker color than I'm the really, other two we've tried so far today i'm really interested in to trying their actual their other things like their, their, house, like their, line, um, their mm -hmm. house um flavors actually maybe i can write them and see if there's anything to me <laughs> or i think they're like maybe they're customized liquids i don't know because I don't see why they wouldn't send it to me unless it's a custom made. Well, liquid. maybe this is the ones that they're looking to <laughs> promote. Promote. Um, so, excuse me. My hair looks so pretty in the camera. I look like I have like. She's so, so modest. Much hair. She's so modest. Um, so this one we're using the um, the mesh RDA with a mesh coil building here on the RX Machina from Wismec. It's not the best mech mod ever. <laughs> if it's even going to work. Probably can put it on something else. Yeah, let's put it on something else. Put it on this one because I want to use that one when we're done. I'll put it on this one. Our dead rabbits mm. are not looking very pretty. They match black mods now. Yeah. <laughs> they do Um, get dirty. <laughs> we got to clean all this shit up. I think I just think they're gonna be a little hard to clean because of how the um, the rab well the rabbit's clean. It'll be it'll be easy to clean. I just gotta get the extra stuff to clean it. We have it. There's no coolant. Thank uh, this God. This one is we didn't even talk. Yeah, we about did. It. Exotic summer soda with bubbly pop. Oh, you said it. it? Yeah. Thank Zotic God there's no coolant. And so three out of three, no coolant. Three sodas, no I coolant. I think they're That's amazing. just smart, and they know a lot of people don't like it, don't like menthol, don't like coolant, so they just they got creative with it, and they were probably like, we're not going to put this in, implement this in our e-liquids, because people, not everyone likes it. It kind of turns you off from an e It smells really good. It smells really good, yeah. It's got a really unusual smell. And there definitely is a carbonation like uh, experience here, there definitely and it's is. Definitely, it's like um, citrusy, so that's where some probably summer comes in. It's got a citrus. Maybe like a sprite base. Seven Up kind of flavor, maybe. No, 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 like an orange soda. You think so? Yeah. It's hard for me to pinpoint. It definitely smells like an orange soda. It tastes like a the Fanta, but not really like an orange. I don't know. There's almost like a cola flavor note into it as well, though. So. Yeah, like, definitely like, a, it's got orange in it, though. It's got some Maybe kind of Maybe it's a citrus. cactus cooler. That's a soda. It has cooler never, in the name. i never tried it. It's like a citrus soda. I mean, it's, I would, I, it's hard to know. It definitely tastes like a soda. You definitely get that vibe from it. 
to me, I just it's hard to get past the carbonation. It's like there's more of a texture, more of like a there feeling a, here. The there flavors. is definitely a carbonation feeling, yeah. and, but it's not like um, menthol or or coolant. It's just like there is a feeling. There's a bubbliness of a soda in your throat, yeah. and there's a lot of I get a lot of orange. There's definitely something there. I, I don't I don't know if I could pinpoint it as orange, but there's definitely a flavor there beyond. I get just orange. A soda. Or, I don't know. So there's some, something citrus, I think. It's so weird. I can't get it either. It's, it's, it's got like a really orange, mild but sweetness. Not orange. It's got a really mild sweetness to it. Um, the flavor's not super overpowering. The sweetness comes in first, and then you get, like, citrus. You left with, like, some bubbliness in your throat as well. It's really more about the, the experience than it's, the flavor. It's okay. It's not bad. <clears throat> it's just, it's not my cup of tea, but... It's a really unusual mm -hmm. thing. Is weird. I'm trying to like figure it out. This is a really hard one to wrap my head around. Yeah, I can't. I can't get it. It's got a really weird aroma to it. It's got a really, really strange just experience. Rude. Excuse me. It's Rude. A, phone. Out. Is it eight o'clock? Because it's time to drink water and eat things. <laughs> He's such a perv. I I don't know. It's really. It's like. I'm definitely getting like an orange. I think that's what's their summer, summery. It's definitely a summery drink, like a soda you would drink when it's like hot out and you're like drinking soda, I guess. See, part of me thinks like I get hints of like cream soda. It's just like such a soda it's flavor got, that it's hard to like say exactly yeah. what soda it is. It tastes like, it's like a soda for sure though. I mean, they nail that. You, I mean, you got to taste it for yourself, yeah. honestly. This is a, this is it's a, a very it, It's flavor. very interesting. It's not nasty. No. But it's, I, I just can't figure it out. And it's driving me nuts. It's driving me crazy, yeah. I, I don't think I would vape this myself, but like, mm -hmm. I, I think that if you're looking for something that really mimics a soda experience without any kind of coolant in it, this is as close as you're going to get. Yeah. And you got I definitely think there is a citrus in there or something. There's definitely a citrus. So you have to, like citrus um i mean i'm not big on citrus maybe it's a lemon i'm I, trying I, I don't <laughs> think so you gotta like you have to like citrus because but it's not strong it's like no. everything's like very mild besides the soda part like the, it it's a very light flavor it's a soda it's a very light flavor except for the, the carbonation the carbonation of it yeah it's really because i guess like I, I really think this is really, way more about the experience of vaping it mm -hmm. than the flavor of vaping it. Yeah. In a, in a really unusual way. Because the rest of the circus line is very heavy with flavor. Yeah. This is this is definitely not that heavy with flavor. So. And it's really dark. So. It's really dark. Unusual. It's it, sweet, but it's not that sweet. Soda. Like, they're, all their e liquids surprised us because the candy e liquids turned, turned color and we weren't expecting it at all. Like, when I first showed him, he's like, oh, they're not going to turn. They're going to stay the same. And they. They changed, even the cotton candy one changed colors. It did. Yeah, it did. It's like they put something in there that makes a change. I think there's just definitely and, a little I bit mean, sweetener in these I mean, the, the rotten candies, this is as dark as it's going to get. It's like a light yellow. It's very light. But and that's probably the from color. the... Um, nicotine. Yeah, nicotine. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, well, I, I, for but, rating this one, I'd probably give it a three um, because it's such an... It's, it's not bad, but it's such an unusual experience. I think that it's not going to be for everybody. No, it's more, if you want a soda experience without the nicotine, I mean, without the menthol and the coolant in it, then this is something that you're going to love. Um, but it's really odd. It's, I it's can't. It's really weird. I, would, I couldn't vape it just because I, it would drive me crazy. I don't know what I'm vaping. <laughs> like, but I know it's a soda, but I don't know what kind of soda it is. Beyond that, yeah, it's hard to say. So. But I think the winner of all these was the Rotten Candy. 100%. I would, I, I'm definitely going to actually vape that. After that's, a the good, show. that's a good e liquid. It's, I think all the strange fruit had not let me down. Or him, he's, no, he's loved we've them. liked them all, so... Strange Fruit is a winner. Circus is, I mean, besides that one, they're all good, too. And it's not that and, that one's bad. It's just not something that we would personally no, base. it's just not my... Most sodas aren't are kind of based, but uh, for some, Rotten Candy, definitely. Rotten Candy, because it's such a different experience. It's not uh, all about the soda. It's, it's, it's more about candy, the candy. It's got candy. It's got soda. Yeah. It's just, if you want something different, that's definitely something different. Yep. And it's good. 
Yeah. Um, Puff Labs. They do. They know what they're doing. They are all over the place with this shit. So good and they, on them. And they know what they're doing when they yeah. make their e-liquids. Yeah. I say it all of, every time we review their stuff. They put a little bit of magic in their e-liquids. They definitely, they definitely have a, a vision of what they want, and they go for it 100%, and they nail it. You can so. tell they work really hard yeah. on their e-liquids, yeah. and that's something I can appreciate. Yep. There's people that pump out all these e-liquids so fast, and it's like, if you took a little time, it probably would have been really good, you know? They didn't just pump these out. No. The, these are definitely thought-out, planned experiences. And even Test if they're not... It. Yeah, and even <laughs> if they're not for us... You know, There's like somebody they, they, out there that wants it. And they nail what they're going for. Circus Cooler, you can tell this is what they wanted to make. Mm -hmm. It's not like they messed it up. It's just not 100% what we would want. But and this is what they even, wanted to make. And it has the bubbles on top. You can tell they, they were focusing on the bubbly um, experience yep. of the e-liquid. That's what they were wanted. They, that's what their focus was about. Yep. And that's what you got. We got. I got mostly the the carbonation, the bubbles of the carbonation. Um, the flavor is there. It's just you don't know. You can't really pinpoint it because the carbonate. You're more focused on the carbonation. Yep. It's not bad to eat liquid. It's just a little weird. Too weird for me. <laughs> really weird. It's, a, it's an experience. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much to Puff Labs for sending this out so we could do all these little videos for you guys. Yes. And, uh... And I'll put their, um... Because their, their website's really weird, hard to find. So I'll put it down in the description. So you can go check out their e-liquids, the, all these lines, and also their own little thing that they got going on. I don't know if it's, um... If it's custom e-liquids, I don't, I don't know what it is. I haven't really looked into it. You can it. check it out. Yeah, there. you can check it out. They're definitely worth it. They're tank friendly. They're, they're, I think these are the best e-liquids I've tried like, since I've started vaping. I think Strange Fruit's definitely one of the best lines we've taken a look at this year so far. So. I, I'm telling you, I love <clears throat> Circus too. Circus is one yeah, of my fa second favorites out of their lines. Yep. Coast is okay, but there it's a hit. Like, I, I, there's only three of the coast, and yeah. and Licks is good, but the, it's Doe is definitely like the star of the show out of those things. Yeah, like you didn't, you had well, I, Licks is something. It's, it's good. good. Yeah. It's got it's a strawberry ice cream. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. You yeah. have to be in. I have to be in the mood for it because I'm not a strawberry person, but it's good though. Good. I like their you look good. Definitely, all, all three <laughs> of the lines are good. So. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Please keep the coals tight. Bye. See you then.